Have you ever wondered why some people seem to make better investment decisions than others? Could it be intelligence, luck, or is there an invisible puppeteer at play? Food for thought, isn't it? We often believe our financial decisions are crystal clear, guided purely by logic and reason. But what if I told you that's not entirely true? Enter the concept of behavioral biases, the invisible puppeteer in question. These biases subtly pull the strings, influencing our investment decisions in ways we may not even realize. They have the potential to turn rational, strategic choices into impulsive, irrational ones. And the most intriguing part, we're all susceptible to them, regardless of our experience or knowledge in the investment world. Now, wouldn't you like to know who this invisible puppeteer is and how it's impacting your investment decisions? Stay tuned as we delve into the mysterious realm of behavioral biases and their impact on your investment decisions. Meet John, a seasoned investor who's always confident about his investment decisions. But is his confidence always warranted? Now, you might think confidence is a good thing, and generally it is. But there's a thin line between confidence and overconfidence. Let's delve a bit deeper into John's investment journey. John, like many investors, has a solid understanding of the market. He reads financial news, stays updated with the latest trends and makes informed decisions. But here's where the problem starts. John overestimates his knowledge, believing he has a unique insight into the market movements. This overconfidence leads him to underestimate the risks involved. When investing, he often overlooks potential pitfalls, brushing off warnings and red flags as irrelevant. And while John's investments may pay off at times, it's a game of Russian roulette. Sooner or later, the bullet fires. John's overconfidence bias has led him to make some unfortunate decisions. He's held on to underperforming stocks longer than he should, convinced they would bounce back. He's also invested heavily in sectors he believed he understood, only to find out he'd overlooked key information. Overconfidence can be tricky. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing we know more than we do, especially when things are going well. But it's crucial to remember that the market is unpredictable and full of surprises. Overconfidence, as we've seen with John, can lead to disastrous investment outcomes. Now let us introduce Sarah. She's a cautious investor who prefers to follow the crowd. But is the herd always right? Meet Sarah, an epitome of a herd follower in the world of investing. She watches the trends, listens to the chatter, and makes her investment decisions based on where the crowd is going. Her strategy is pretty simple. If everyone else is buying, she buys. If they're selling, she sells. But let's ponder for a moment. Is the crowd always right? Well, as it turns out, not necessarily. The herd mentality often neglects the fact that markets are dynamic and every investment decision should be based on individual financial goals and risk tolerance. Consider a scenario where a popular stock is skyrocketing. The herd rushes in to buy, pushing the price even higher. Sarah, like a true herd follower, joins in. However, the fundamentals of the company may not justify such high valuations, and the stock may eventually crash, leaving Sarah with a hefty loss. On the other hand, let's imagine a less popular, undervalued stock. The crowd overlooks it, so does Sarah. Yet this could have been a golden opportunity for a savvy investor who did their due diligence. The moral of Sarah's tale is clear. Herd mentality can sometimes lead to suboptimal investment decisions. It's crucial to conduct thorough research and not rely solely on the actions of the crowd. Following the herd, as Sarah does, can sometimes lead to missed opportunities or even financial losses. So, what can we learn from John and Sarah's stories? Well, their stories highlight the profound impact of behavioral biases on investment decisions. John's overconfidence led him down a perilous path, demonstrating how unchecked optimism can cloud our judgment, making us overlook potential risks. On the other hand, Sarah's story was a classic case of herd mentality, showing us how following the crowd can lead us astray from our individual investment goals. So the key takeaway here is this, awareness and management of our behavioral biases are crucial in the world of investing. Whether it's overconfidence, herd mentality, or any other bias, being cognizant of these invisible puppeteers can help us make more informed and rational decisions. These biases, if left unchecked, can have serious repercussions, potentially hindering our financial growth and stability. Remember, being aware of and managing your behavioral biases can make a significant difference in your investment journey. Don't let the invisible puppeteer control your financial future.